Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Secrets Revealed. And today I'm going to be sharing my secrets on how to build a strong Kepri. So I'm going to go over things like the uh, modules, uh, the pilot, the uh, pilot skills, drone and drone chips. But I want you guys to pay special attention uh, to the modules and especially the drone chips. Because those two things are pretty much the secret ingredients to make a really strong Kepri. Or any robot for that matter, but especially the Kepri. So I'm going to break this down into kind of like three um, levels or categories using the Capri as a beacon runner, um, an all-rounder build, and also a more higher damage uh, you know, build for those of you who uh, have maxed out Capris. And uh, yeah, with that said, I guess let's get started here. So this build I have here is more of a beacon runner. So we have anti-control, we've got nuclear amplifier, repair amplifier, um, the reason why I have anti-control in here is because if you read the uh, description, it says here automatically removes lockdown and suppression effects. Uh, this is basically going to allow me to get to a beacon without getting like locked down. Um, you know, if a player has like the Erebus or the Typhon and they hit you with the blackout ability, this will actually block it or at least the initial hit. Uh, after that, you can still get locked down and, uh, you know, suppress. But uh, this is going to allow you to get to a beacon uh, pretty safely for the most part. Um, it's also going to be tied to my drone chips, um, which is going to activate, uh, you know, increased damage. I'm going to get to that in a bit. Uh, we have nuclear amplifier. We've got uh, repair amplifier. If you don't have these two modules, um, you know, I would uh, consider going maybe balance unit, uh, even heavy armor kit. Um, you want to go for like armor, especially if your Kepri is a lower level Kepri. Uh, we have advanced repair. We've got the Aeneon pilot. So a lot of players have asked me, should they go Nian or should they go Masaki and Ponchi? Now, if you're going to be using your uh, Kepri as a beacon runner, I think this pilot is a lot better because if you read the uh, description here, it says the Kepri receives 5% bonus uh, to its outcoming damage and 5% uh, to its movement speed. Um, if you do link to a teammate, uh, that 5% now becomes 10%. And if you have like six Kepris using this pilot or linking to each other, you could imagine how fast, uh, you know, your Kepri is going to go. Um, the rest of the skills here, we've got uh, mostly tank skills. Uh, Arm expert, tough guy, uh, cautious pilot. Because I have the uh, scatter on here, I do have the sharpshooter. Okay, and uh, obviously roadhog. And now the uh, most important uh, part or one of the most important parts, uh, the drone. So we have the beak drone on here. And uh, this beak has on repair unit defense, two on suppression immune damage chips, on mouth damage absorber. And uh, this is the uh, chip I'm going to be uh, talking about here. So what exactly does this do? If you read the uh, description, it says yeah, as long as the robot is immune to suppression effect, it increases its damage output. Now, um, at the start, I uh, showed you, you know, we had the anti-control on here. Uh, remember that this uh, prevents you know other players from locking you down or suppression which means if they try to suppress me those uh you know chips which i had on the beak these two chips here so the on suppression that is going to activate which means i'm going to actually be doing you know more damage so uh, that's why i'm running it mostly to prevent others from locking me down but also it's going to be boosting my damage uh, whenever this activates so uh yeah very strong build and if you don't have the beak drone, a cheaper alternative is the uh, discus. Okay, so I have one set up here. So we have on suppression immune damage, on repair unit defense, and also the on mild damage absorber chip. Okay, so you could use this. Other alternatives, the uh, barrel and also Persephone work really well uh, for this build. And I'm trying to link to my teammate there so I can get uh, to this left side. Although I think this guy's going to get this beacon. Uh, before we do, maybe he'll get off the beacon. Let's see. Just waiting for him to drop in. Yep, we got a scorpion here. Oh man, we got multiple players. <laughs> I'm looking around. There's no help. Okay, I wonder if I can take out all three. We'll see. I'm dealing with this uh, player here first. This guy is use a uh, phase shift. There we go.
Man. Die already. Oh. They're hitting me with orbital strikes. Okay, we, we took out that player. This guy actually healed up quite a bit. I think he has the Mender pilot. And we've got another. Man. I'm all alone here. <laughs> Yep, last stand triggered on the Arachi. That's gonna do it. There we go, finally. Okay, and the next setup I have here is pretty much an all-round setup, which I think will apply to most players, especially if they have a lower level Kepri. Now, ignore the fact that I'm using uh, Blaze weapons on here. That's gonna be for the uh, gameplay portion. But I do have uh, one nuclear amplifier, two repair amplifiers, and advanced repair. Now, I do realize not everyone has these modules. So uh, this is going to be like the cheapest version of that. And then I'll kind of show you like a step up uh, from this one here. Okay, so one nuclear reactor and two armor kits. Okay, so if you have a really low level uh, Kepri and you are in the uh, lower leagues, this is pretty much what I would, uh, you know, run. And a step up from this would be to actually use three balance units. Now, I thought about this, you know, a player could use thermonuclear reactor or overdrives uh, with heavy armor kit. But uh, if you take a look at the uh, overall cost here, okay, so it costs 4,000 gold for the thermonuclear reactor where you get increased damage, uh, you know, 4,000 gold for the heavy armor kit, you get increased uh, health, or you could just get the uh, balance unit for the same price and get a little bit of health and damage. So it kind of makes more sense to do uh, three balance units uh, if you will and the nice thing about balance units you know it's really used for tanks so um, you know if you don't like it on the uh, Capri or you decide to switch it you could always put it on something like a Fenrir uh, you know or a Revenant and it would work really well on those bots as well and I'm going to be using the Masaki and Ponchi pilot this time so when I use my ability the uh, Capri is going to be immune to freeze suppression and lockdown you could also use the uh, the Neon, so either one works. And because you know I'm trying to survive for as long as possible, I recommend the uh, Nebula. So for this one, I have Freezer, On Repair Unit, Defense, two of these chips, On Mount Damage Absorber. Now you could also use the Whiteout. Another option or cheap option is the Discus. So if you do use the uh, Whiteout, I would use uh, the following uh, setup. It's probably right at the end. There we go. <laughs> okay, so on a pay unit defense, two of these, the on mild damage fix percent and the on high uh, damage fix percent. So this one here, 18%. And this one here, 48%. At the uh, bottom there, a lot of uh, bendy bullets uh, back here. So we've got uh, sirens and harpies. So uh, let's try to maybe uh, go for these guys. Do some damage to them. Okay, so they pretty much gave me this beacon. Nice. Let's try to focus down uh, this guy. Whoa, look at his health. Yep, took him out. So uh, what I'm going to do with this one, we're going to put an orbital strike here. Hopefully it slows him down. And uh, that should do it, surely. There we go. We're going to go for uh, this guy next. Trying to get him with those uh, flames there. Oh, come on. Now let's move this way. Man, a lot of bendy bullets. I think they're probably going to drop in over here, right? I'm waiting. I guess not. Now let's hit this guy. And I'm hoping I can take him out. Okay, and the last setup I have here is geared towards higher damage. Um, this is more for players who have a higher level Kepri or it's maxed out. 
Now, uh, ignore the fact that I'm using uh, Kaujo's on here. It could be Scattered, could be Blaze, Toxin, uh, Scald. It doesn't really matter. Um, we've got Anti-Control, two Nuclear Amplifiers this time, Advanced Repair. So I'm using two so I can get to the 95 stacks a lot quicker. We have the uh, Masaki and Ponty Pilot. And uh, those are the skills. And in terms of the uh, drone. So for this one, I'm going to be using the uh, Barrel Drone. Okay, so we have uh, Free Zip. Basically, you know, when I freeze the enemy up, they're going to be taking uh, more damage. Although if you are using um, the scatter, you know, build, I wouldn't use the barrel. I would use the beak. So we have on suppression immune damage, uh, on repair unit defense. And uh, yeah, you could be using the beak as well. But I tend to prefer this one. Some players ask me, you know, what about the shield? The thing is, there's a lot of uh, harpies and sirens with the uh, Yang Li pilots. So if they're using bendy bullets, it's going to go all the way through your shield anyways. Uh, this allows me to at least apply an effect uh, if I need to, to boost up that damage uh, even further. And uh, I'm probably going to get attacked by that uh, Revenant. Let me just look outside here so that we can get this beacon, hopefully. There we go. Trying to really focus down this guy. And uh, hold on, I'm going to link to that player. So you can see this build is really a high risk, high reward uh, kind of build. You can do a lot of damage because you get charged up very quickly. Should be able to take this guy out. There we go. And uh, you know what? We're going to link. I'm going to go this way. Get this guy down to his last stand. Oh, here's a shell. This is perfect. Hold on a second. Uh, we need to help. We need to help this right side. Hold on. Look at his health. Surely that's going to do it, right? No? So that guy with the, uh, the orbital strike. I'm going to move this way. We need to get this beacon back. Oh, that's why they got it. Hold on a second. This guy might engage me. We'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move this way because they they're gonna give up this side. Um, let's target that guy. Where's my uh, teammate here? Let's just link to him. Let's take out this guy. Oh man, he has one weapon. There we go. And this guy. Just link to uh, that player. I can take out this Mender. He can't. Uh, there we go. So you can see just how much damage this can do. When you are charged up, you do some insane damage. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I do have other videos like this. You can find it by going to playlist, finding secrets revealed. And I believe I have nine episodes uh, so far. I'm going to be building up on that. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.